As I watched the slow and inevitable disintegration in my family, I found solace in my music. It became my passion, a burning interest in what to me was a cold and lonely world. The music led me places. The music led me to things. This is where my story starts. I saw sides of myself I never imagined existed. I did things I had only ever seen in PSAs at school, all advocating for purity, basically against everything I started to become. Ironically, most everyone else had slept through those PSA screenings. And now, in the moments in which I had become the shadowy figure portrayed in these videos, I never sleep. My personality and who I was just took a 180 and completely just changed and wasn't me. It all started innocently enough. I just graduated high school. That was when I hit the wall. Graduating high school always seemed like an unobtainable goal, like finding the treasure at the end of a rainbow. Uh, all I really did that summer was party, and I um, couldn't really even enjoy that anymore after four years of doing that, so. Suddenly it was all happening, then it was over. I hesitated every morning before opening my eyes. As I stepped out of bed, I felt all my hope and various beliefs crumble and crunch under my feet like hardened snow. I realized there was no ideal way in life. Relationships, families, jobs, education, they were all fragile means of trying to control the darkness. But it all fell apart so easily. It was so simple for some people to be human, but I guess I just couldn't handle it. The pills, the lines, the clouds of smoke, these things became my glasses to cloud and obscure my vision of the world. I could walk around the city with these glasses and see everything in the perfect light. The real lights, happiness, hope, connection, they were all obscured by these glasses, just as much as the pain and depression were. It was in this void that I found benzodiazepine, benzos. Most of what I took was intended as remedies for anxiety and other related disorders. Xanax, Clonopin, Valium, Ativan. It all started at parties, because I wanted to feel like everyone else. I wanted to connect with people. I snorted some lines and took some pills and everything changed. I talked, I danced, I laughed. I didn't have the feelings anymore, but I was okay with it. I accepted the numbness. My days were becoming shorter, even though the sun was setting later. I searched my room for answers in the bottom of little orange bottles. While the smoke filled my lungs, the fire burned the sky. I scraped my wallet for funds. My life became a cycle dependent on drugs. I'd get money, meet people, give them cash, and then do what I needed to do so that I could live with myself for a few hours. People told me I wouldn't last a day in the real world. I told them they wouldn't last one night of mine. At a certain point, I think he just stopped caring. There's no reason to not feel like this forever. I liked the feeling. I wanted this to be an everyday thing, so I made it so. I started taking the benzos every day, anything I could get my hands on. I lost track of days of all time. Once I lost time, I lost my mind. I created this reality for myself. I perpetuated this lie. This wasn't life anymore. It was self-inflicted purgatory. After thinking this was it, this was my life, I fucked up. I thought selling my soul to the devil would make me lose my identity. But he kept the receipt, gave me back my hope, my true eyes, my drive. He gave me back me. The nights of thinking that I blew up my chances like a supernova, the stars have now finally realigned in my head. I came to my senses and got some help. My past actions eventually caught up with me and sent me into this cop car, then to a so-called happy place. It was just a blank room, although I could see the impressionable paintings left by other patients. At this hospital, I got a sense of how bad things can be, and I needed to grow up, face my problems, and stay headstrong.
One late night, I found myself stumbling through my door in a cold sweat after gorging myself with pills and alcohol, a feeling I had become all too accustomed to. I made my way to my bathroom, clenching my hands to the porcelain bowl to throw up a little I had in my stomach. My mind was void of all coherent thought other than breathe, just breathe. Knowing time was my only chance to wait out death's clock, I turned them out of the shower and waited for it to warm while I sat next to my toilet. Dizzy headed lost. Balance slip. Head just careened right into the shower. Or like the edge of the shower. Woke up in a red bath, bleeding out of my head. My foot clogged the drain, so it was close to drowning. And I finally Got a little bit of consciousness, realized what was happening, and mustered up the strength to take my foot off. Yeah, I know, I just passed out again. And then, I don't know how I got back to my bed. I woke up in my bed. It's very confusing. And then, after that, I pretty much just stayed in that bed for a week. Just kind of contemplating how I got to this point of just fucked up or And I don't know, just decided I need to kind of take control of my life again. After a week of being sober, I kind of realized what, I don't know, what that shit does to you. And, yeah. No, I don't ever regret my past. After a little while at school, I spent my days looking through the pages of my life in the so-called invisible bible about me, I got back inside my mind and learned from it. And so now I just realize all that stuff just kind of made me who I am now. So.